All right, we're going to start up again. What I am going to do, if you look up on the screen here, I'm going to keep that playground open, but I'm going to minimize it in case I want to bring it back up and copy code over. All right? I don't know how well most of you type. I can type all the code in again. It's not a problem. But it may be easier for you to copy from the playground right into your into your class file that we're you know the, for the app we're going to create in just a minute. All right, so I'm going to minimize this. Okay, so no, I want to. So I want to come in here now. And I want to do a file under Xcode. I want to do a file, new, project. This is not new. We've done this before. File, new, project. What kind of project have we been creating? The default one, right? Single view application. So that's what I'm going to create is a single view app. And click Next. I'm going to call this BMI Calc. I don't know if I if I already have a BMI calculator on here or not, so I'm just going to call mine BMI Calc. Call it whatever you'd like to call it, okay? And I'm going to set it up just for iPhone right now. All this, all the stuff that we have in here until we get much later in the class, the use core data, the include unit tests, and the include UI tests, just leave them all unchecked. Otherwise, it just adds bloat to your site that you really don't. So click Next. And I'm going to save it to the desktop. What? No, the name should be BMI Calculator or BMI Calc. And the type should be set to Swift, the language, and the type should be set to iPhone. Okay, while she's getting herself set here, please look up on the screen here, everybody. All right? What I said, we're, we're doing the first pass of this as an app. You're doing two passes, right? The second pass, you're going to make it look more professional. Also, in the second pass, if you look up here, you're supposed to make it an, um, landscape only. So make sure to uncheck that one. Not now. For what you've got now, it's fine. What I'm talking about when you do your second iteration of this, that one is supposed to be landscape only. All right? <coughs> All right, so is everybody pretty much caught up now? All right, so I'm going to go right to my main.storyboard file. You see how fast my computer reacts as opposed to yours, all right? When you put all this garbage on it like I've got, it just slows it down. Okay. All right. So here's my storyboard. One thing I'm going to recommend, you don't have to do this, but what I'm going to recommend is with what we're doing right now, we change the emulator type to make it a smaller phone. So I'm going to come over here, and where it says iPhone 6 Plus, I'm going to click on that where it says 6 Plus, and I'm just going to choose a 4S. All right? You don't have to do that. OK? I'm not going to run the copy that I did of this yesterday, but I, I want to explain something to you. And that is, I decided yesterday I'm going to make my controls real big so it, it looks really cool. The problem is then when I ran it in the emulator, it was like I had this much room, and my controls were like that big. OK? So don't do that. And if you say, I don't know what you mean, just follow along, and you should be fine. All right. So again, I'm choosing 4S, okay? And that's just going to be where, when I run it. 
Now, for what I'm going to do, building the interface, this is the, this is the dance that you play as a developer. Right now, I don't need this. Does that make sense to everybody? I don't need this. Because all I'm going to do is drag a bunch of stuff out to here. So I don't need this, but I do need this. Because that's got my toolbar in there. Okay? So what I'm going to do is I'm going to come over to here, and I'm going to close that first one right there in the upper right-hand corner. All right? Right there. You've got the six boxes. I'm the fourth box over. Boom. Now my navigator's gone. I also really don't need this right here. I'll bring that back later, but I really don't need it right now. So I'm going to remove that too. So in other words, I got a lot of room here that I can go and draw on. Okay? This is how I'm going to build this. If you look up on the screen here, this is how I'm going to do it. I know it's not the same as the piece of paper that I gave you. Okay? But I'm going to do it like this. I'm going to basically put the equivalent of a label here that says height, and then the equivalent of a text box here, another one that's, that's the same size there that says weight, and a text box there, another one here that says BMI, all right? In fact, i got to remember how I did this. I should look at my other one, but that's fine. I didn't do it like that. I put a button next that's over here that says calculate. All right. And you know how these are text views right here? Everybody know that? It's like a text box. There is another kind of text view that we looked at and we actually used last semester when we did that uh, bullseye game. We're going to use one of those because we could put multiple lines. So down in here, I'm going to put that same stuff you saw before. Inputted height, boom. Inputted weight, boom. Okay? I will tell you this. We're going to set our keyboard type up. If you look up on the screen here, if this is too wide, like if I did it like this, what's going to happen is when I bring the keyboard up, it's going to like, the keyboard is going to like be there and it's going to hide some of this stuff. All right? So I'm going to make this nice and small, much smaller than it looks right now. All right. And again, I need my stuff from here. So the first thing I want to do is I want to come down where it says filter, way down here. Remember, I can either scroll through this or I can click my filter and type in whatever I want. And I want a label. So I'm going to type the word label in there. And there it is. And actually, I want two labels. Remember, this is a label. And this, those are both labels, all right? So I'm going to set those up right now, and I'm going to make them fairly small. And again, I'm not worried about how it's going to look in landscape or portrait or aesthetically, nothing. I just want to get the interface up there, all right? So I'm going to come here and grab a label and basically do the equivalent of just about, whoops, sticking it up towards the upper left-hand corner. All right, right there. And I'm going to double click on it and I'm going to type in the word height with a colon. Okay? Now, I've got two things I can do. I can create another one or I can copy this one. All right? I can really do it either way, but I'm just going to create another one. So I'm going to create another one and put it virtually right underneath this one. So this, I want to push this way the hay up there. Okay? So I'm going to create another label, and I'm going to put it right under this one. Very close. I'm going to double-click on it again, and this time I'm going to put in weight with a colon. I'll come back and worry about setting up everything later. But for right now, and, and yeah, I got pushed over. I'll push it back in just a second, okay? So I'll click on this, click here, move it over until the guidelines line up. Okay? Any questions so far? All right. These two things, again, here and here,
Those are both text views. All right. <clears throat> so I'm going to go down where my filter is that currently has the word label in it. I'm going to double click on it and type in text view. There it is. So I'm going to drag that up. That's not the right one. I'm sorry. It's not a text view. Type in text. Text field. Thank you. They're text fields, not text views. My error. Sorry. That's a text field. All right. So grab a text field, please, and drag that up here. Then grab another text field and put it basically right underneath it. Okay? Now, if you're really anal about this stuff, you can line this stuff up here as I'm doing right now. That's not really that important. Okay? Now, since I have hardly used any room, if I want to, I could actually put a button here. I could put something there that explain how the program works. I could put virtually anything there I wanted to. All right? Just so I'm sure I've got enough area, I'm going to put my button. I'm actually going to put my button right here. But I'm going to put my text view over here. See what I'm saying? Just so I'm sure I have enough room. So the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to come in and I'm going to add a button. Again, I'll go down into my area here, type in the word button, put a button over here. All right, I'll double click on that. I'm just going to call that calculate BMI. Okay, so there's my button. So that's what I have in there so far. And lastly, I'm going to come in here and I'm going to put in a text view. Right there. Okay. So that's, that's right now, that's the way that this looks. I'm not, I've got plenty of room here now for my keyboard. I think everybody would agree with that. Okay? There's a few things that I forgot to do on my copy of this, and it's okay, because we probably won't finish this today anyway. Is this helping? Is it, make, is it making more sense now doing this? All right? Because, I'm, you know, again, even if it takes an hour next week, you'll still have the rest of the class. And... Thursday of next week to work on these. All right? And I realize it's kind of tough. Now, I will tell you, if you don't know this, well, you know already that, that uh, what, uh, next week we will be having a regular lecture in the earlier classes, in all the, all the classes. But if you ever want to come in here on a Monday or a Wednesday, if John is not here, I have the keys for that, so I can open it up. All right? I don't expect you. Now, some of you have gone out and bought your own Mac. But I didn't, I didn't expect you to do that, all right? So again, as an example, I put in there 72, I put in there 111, I click that button, and it comes up and says input in height 72, input in weight 111, BMI 15.05, uh, BMI status underweight. That's what we want, all right? Now, We've done all this, but we haven't done a whole heck of a lot to the stuff that's in here. When you are doing your second iteration of this, the one that's going to be landscape, the one I want to look fairly professional, I don't want stuff butted up like this. All right, I want you to set it up. You use your own creativity. I'm not telling you what to do. All right, I want you to do what you want to do. All right? All right. But there's a few changes that I do want to make on here. Okay? The first change that I want to make is right here. I want that, I want to be able to set the keyboard for that, right? I don't want to be able to take anything but numbers in there. So I'm clicking on that first text field. All right? I'm clicking on the first text field. And then over here, okay? I want, I want to find keyboard type, and I want to change the keyboard type to number pad. Does that make sense? All right. And I'm going to do the exact same thing 
for the next field. So I've changed the keyboard type on both to number pad. There's all sorts of other changes I could make. I could change the size of the button. I could make the label bigger and make the font bigger. I don't care about that stuff right now. I'm not concerned with that at all. All right? Does everybody understand everything we've done so far? Any questions on anything? Is everybody caught up? Is everybody almost caught up? All right. So think about what we have to do next. I am in just a minute. I'm going to click that. What does that thing do? The thing looks kind of like the two, the two circles. What does that do? Well, somebody's got to know this. What does that do? Brings up the assistant editor. Thank you. So it's going to bring it up. Once I've got the assistant editor, I need three variables for this program. I'm going to have to drag down from here. I'm going to have to drag down from here. And I'm going to have to drag down from here. Those are all going to be outlets. Then when I get done, I'm going to drag down from here, and that's going to be an action. Does all that make sense? All right, but before I do that, I'm going to go, and like I said, I'm going to come over here, move that over as far as I can here, and I'm going to open up my assistant editor. All right. Now I'm going to write some code. Again, please look on the screen. Now I'm going to write some code. I don't need this now. So I'm going to remove that or make it disappear or whatever you want to say. All right. One, one thing is you're all learning this stuff differently. You're all doing it in a different way. It's whatever way it feels the most comfortable for you. Last thing in the world I would want would be to put out 12 people in this class that do everything the way I do it. Seriously, I don't want that. Or the way John does it. I don't want that. All right, you have to start learning how to do things yourselves. But I'm going to remove this, so I'm going to click that last box that's up there in the upper right-hand corner, because now i got a little bit more room. So now my, my machine, basically, it's about half, it's about half and half. That's good. That's what I want. All right? Now, I can, I can go and do that stuff, but you know what I'm going to do first? I'm going to come up here. Does this look familiar? Like maybe we just did this a couple minutes ago. I'm going to come up here and I'm going to say var height equals 0, 0.0. Var weight equals 0, 0.0. Var BMI equals 0, 0.0. And var status equals double quote, double quote. Okay? Now, what I'm just showing you there, that'll work just fine. Bless you. I got sent an article yesterday, which is an excerpt from a book. I, don't, I haven't read the article yet. It's 22 pages long, but I'm going to read it over the weekend. If it's as good as the first paragraph was, I'm going to put it out there for all of you next week and spend a couple minutes going over it because it explains in detail all that question mark and exclamation point stuff. Much better than what I'd seen previously. All right? I'm not using that in here. All right? But if I don't put it in, it's going to get put in for me. All right? So I'm just going to show you that as we go on. So these are my variables, same ones we used last time. I'm going to hit enter a couple times, and then I'm going to control and drag here and here and here. Does all that make sense? Remember how to do that. You hold down on the control key, you hold down on your touchpad, and you drag. So again, I'm coming over here, hitting enter a couple times, clicking on the, the, the uh, text view for my height, holding down on control, holding down on the touchpad, and then dragging over to here. Okay? I think this is the one I told you to call like height text. All right, so that's what I'll call it. So height text. Make sure it's an outlet and not an action. I'm sorry. Yeah, make sure it's an outlet, not an action. Yes. 
because that creates a variable. Okay, so that's the first one. Click connect, and boom, there it is. All right, I'm going to hit enter again. Now I'm going to do it from the weight. So I've clicked in there, hold down on the control key, drag, and put that in here. And I'm going to call this one weight text. So there's my second one. Then finally, I'm going to put one more in. And that's dragging from here. Again, holding down on control and dragging down. And I'm going to call that one result label. So now I've got those three variables in there. Okay? Just, just for a couple minutes, don't, don't, just listen to me. Don't look on the screen. Don't do anything. All right? But just listen for a minute or two. If you read, if you go and you read that second tutorial by Ray Wenderlin, if you don't like this way that we just did this, where we did the control and drag, there is another way that you can do it. It involves using the last thing that you, when you bring up the object inspector, the last one of those things that's over here, it's called a connections inspector. You can do it from there also. I'm not going to go through that. Because we're just going to get hung up on stuff that I'm not saying it is or is not important, but I want you to have some time to create your own stuff in here. All right? Otherwise, the class isn't, isn't worth taking. Okay? So we've got all that. So what we, what we want to do next is now we want to drag down from here down to over here. But remember that instead of making that, all right, instead of making that an outlet like we have here, that will be an action because that's going to be where we're going to calculate the BMI. All right? So I'm going to click on my button. I'm going to hold down on my control key, hold down on the touchpad, and drag right here, let go, change it from outlet to action, and type in here. I'm just going to type in the word calculate. So just the word calculate and hit enter. So now I've got that. Okay. Are there any questions on anything we've done so far? Again, this is your time to ask, and I want to make sure people are basically caught up. All right. Again, as I mentioned, we don't have, you could make a case to say we got, Jeff, we got kind of a butt-ugly interface there, buddy. All right. And I wouldn't even disagree with that. Now, you might find that it's easier to remove all the text from here, but I'm just going to leave it there. So it'll look ugly until we run the program, but it's really important that you do one thing with this field. So I'm going to click in here in just a second, and I'm going to bring, bring this back. So I want, I want you to see this. We did this last semester. You've already done this once, but I'm going to click in here, then I'm going to bring this back again, the object inspector. All right? Why am I doing that? Because there is a field in here, right there. That one. See that? See where the, I put the mouse right there? You want that turned off. You want that unchecked. It, it's the word editable. You want the word editable to be unchecked. Because if it's checked, okay, so I go in there and I put in, I'm six feet tall and I weigh 230 pounds. And it comes back and it says, my BMI is 31. I don't like that. So I can go back in there and manually change it to 21. And that's a lot nicer. You shouldn't be able to do that. That's like being able to, to say 6 plus 8 and not like 14 for the answer so you can change it. No. This is our output area. So this output area that we have there should not be editable. And to force it to not be editable where it is checked, I'm going to click right there. And now it is not editable. There. Just turn it off. Now I can close this again. All right. Again, my hope is that pretty much everybody, everybody has is caught up now. Okay? 
Well, I hope you're close to being caught up. Close the, the good, the good news, the good news is I'm going to put in the code now. But the good news is you've got the code already if you want to copy it from your playground. You don't have to do that. I'm going to manually put in the code. All right? So in my calculate, this is going to look real familiar to you. I'm going to call calc BMI, and I'm not passing anything. Then I'm going to call calc BMI status, and I'm not going to pass in anything. Then I'm going to call display info, and I'm not going to pass in anything. Now, eventually, I'm going to get error messages there because I haven't written those routines yet. Does that make sense to everyone? That's why I told you earlier, after you put them in, I'm going to take the second two, and for right now, I'm just going to comment them out. So now, now my screen isn't totally red. It's just a little red. All right. So the first one I want to run, or I want to write rather, is the calc BMI. So it's going to be a function again. Not, a, not the word function, the word func. Calc BMI. And it's not returning anything. Okay. So we're just saying here the same formula basically that we had in here before. All right. But we're going to have to put a bunch of other stuff in there. Okay? I'm going to put the formula in, and I'm going to get all sorts of error messages. All right? We'll fix it. Even if we go no further today than that, that's fine. But I'm going to put the formula in as it is and watch the errors that I get. Okay? So I want to say here, BMI equals... And now that I said all that, I might not get any errors, but we'll see. Wait. Wait. Times 703 divided by POW height 2.0. Okay? And I didn't get any errors, so you can type that in. Look familiar? There's a problem with this code in its current format. Can anybody just think about it for a second and guess what the problem is going to be with the code in its current format? I run the program. Okay? Everybody cool? I run the program. So I run it. Guess what? I put nothing in here, I put nothing in here, and I click calculate. The program's going to blow chunks. Because it doesn't know how to understand, it doesn't understand because there's nothing in there. All right? Does that make sense? Now, when we ran it from the playground, we didn't have a problem because I purposely set it up like that so that in our init, we had to put in a height and we had to put in a weight. If we had left one of those out or if we had made height or weight numer uh, alphabetic, we would have gotten errors also. All right? So that is the right line, but we've got to put a bunch of other stuff above it. All right? And the way I'm going to show you, I'm not going to say it's the best way, but it's a way that works, and it allows me to explain a couple of other things to you. So I'm going to key in here right now probably about, mm, about 10 lines. Okay? So I'll put them in, and let me move this way up so that you're all able to see it okay. I'm going to put that calc BMI up at the top of the page. All right. And I'm going to start typing. I don't need that paren. Going back to what was said before, so I don't need that press. And 
and that's not a mistake in there. There are actually two exclamation points. And it looks like it's giving me an error right now. I don't know why, but we'll fix whatever the problem is. I know what it is. The word text there is lowercase. There we go. Have you noticed if you type something and it's a keyword, it goes into that bluish? Maybe yours is a different color, but it goes into a certain color. When I made the T in text right here, when I made it a capital T, the whole thing stayed black. So there was an error in that. So I'm going to put all of it in, and then I'll explain it to you, okay? So hopefully that's all right with everybody. Because that's everything in the function. That's the whole function. Again, we won't get to the status and the other stuff today. It's fine. This is enough for today. All right? Maybe you're thinking, yeah, it's way more than enough. I'll let you type that in, and I want to explain what's going on in every line there. I'm going to let you type for two more minutes, but it's going to take five to ten minutes to explain this. So what I'm going to ask is that you try to get it done in the next couple minutes so I can explain what's going on in here. All right? Can you see with me standing here or am I in your way? You're good. I know. It doesn't take that. It doesn't. So, no. Okay. So what I did was I created a string variable, threw it all in there, and then took the string variable and put it in. Okay. And it worked fine. That's what we yeah. Yeah. I, I couldn't figure it out, and I forgot to look. There might be a way, but I did not go check out Stack Overflow or anything else. I was just doing it myself, and I thought, hell with it. I'm just gonna, I know this will work. So I kind of grunted. Because I Googled it, and it's like the answers are weird. Like well, some places say you should just be able right. to. Right. I, I know one of them. One of the, I did look at one site, and it was a, a something under Stack Overflow and pushed off to another answer to something else that wasn't that question. And I said, the hell with it. You know, I was, it was just getting late, and I just said, the heck with it. All right. If everybody, I don't care where you are, I'll leave the code up there. But take a look up on the screen. I want to try to explain what's happening in here. All right. What this says is if height text dot text not equal nil, what that means is there's something in the text box. Okay? And literally, that's what it means. All right? We set the thing up to a number path, correct? So what's the only thing that could be in the text box? A number. Right? All right? I, we didn't do anything with minimum height math. I didn't do that on this one. I'm not doing it here. You have to add that stuff onto yours for the second iteration. A minimum height, a maximum height, a minimum weight, and a maximum weight. I'm trying to get the interface down for you so it makes sense. So you can use that as a template to get going and then work on some stuff yourselves. All right? So what this says is if there's something in there, remember, it's a text box, so it's text in there or a text field. 
So convert it into a double and then throw it into my height variable. But if it is nil, that means it's empty. So I'm just throwing a value in there myself. And I just threw 72. There's other ways you can do that. What we could have done is, and it might have been a cleaner way, all right, what we could have done is I could have right here, I could have written right here to the screen or maybe to the console, I could have done a print, and I could have said, you did not enter a height. So there's a lot of ways you can handle that, all right? You may or may not remember, but when we did the tip calculator, you know, some of those fields we put zeros in there, remember that? We put the zeros in there so there was something so we didn't have to worry about the nil thing. And this is the same thing, the weight, I'm going I'm to change, I think I made that like 150, but I just copied it, so that's why it's there. All right? So in other words, because a person who is 6 feet tall and weighs 72 pounds is really going to look pretty sick. All right? But do you understand what's going on in this area? In the first one, I'm saying, if there's a value in here, since we made this numeric, it's got to be a number. So if it is, grab what's in there, convert it to a double, and throw it into that variable that we call height. And if there's nothing in there, I'm magically just going to add 72. Okay? And you know what? I'm just going to change this one because I don't, that kind of repulses me. So I'll make that 155. It doesn't, you can leave it at 72. It doesn't matter. I didn't like that. And we're doing the same thing then with the weight. Now we're sure we have a value in our height box and more importantly in our height variable. We're now sure we've got a value into our weight variable. So now we can do the BMI calculation. All right. So what we'll do, I'm just going to stop now. This, it, it, otherwise, we're just going to run over too far. Okay. What we will do next time then is, so now we figured out the BMI. All right. So what we'll do next time is rate the other two, which is calculate the status and then display everything. All right, when we calculate the status, it's going to be the same exact code. I mean, if you want to copy that in, you can. You already have that in your playgrounds. All right, so you can write that down below here and then just copy it in. All right, if you want to do that. The display will be different because we're, we don't want to display it there. We want to display it in here. So that's going to end up being different. All right, but I still think, so what, what I'll do, and I'll just to show you this, all right, we'll pick it up here next time, but just, just to show you this, okay, is what I'll do is I'll come back to my playground, which is here someplace, applications, uh, that's camp project, there's my playground. All right, so there's my playground, and here's my status stuff. So I can grab everything that's inside of there, copy it to the clipboard, get out of this. What did we call it up here? We called it, we got calc BMI and calc BMI status. So right underneath here, I'm going to type in funk calc BMI status, whoops, status, paren paren, curly, and I'm going to paste that in. Oh, not like that, I'm not. I'm going to paste it in. So now I've got that, and I'll leave that up there till about five minutes to, but I can't leave it up any more than that because I just want to get the hell out of here. Yeah, I know it's beat <laughs> Dan. You know, they're now well over on the YouTube channel. I don't know what the number was the last time I checked, but on my YouTube channel right now, there are currently now 806 videos out there, all right, on the YouTube channel. I'm going to be adding more this weekend. Like 100 you've added in the last week? I 
it was closer to 700 before. I don't know. I thought it said it was like 707 last I don't know. So. And I haven't, I uh, I think I've up, or is it, yep. I do have the one, the first part of this. So that one's all ready. Okay. Again, don't feel like you have to take what I put up here because you already have that stuff in the in the information that you already put in. All right. So what we'll do, all right, what we'll do is we'll pick it up here next time. Now, let's say that Amber said or says, that's not good enough. I, I, I want to work on this, and I want to do it now. Okay, well, I also have someplace in my mess, and I'll find it. I've got hard copies of this one, and I'm going to give you that also. All right, so you can go back, and you can check over that. Now, it's not impossible that I maybe used a different variable name here or there. I didn't try to do that, but I could have done that without even trying to. Here they are. So you all get one of these, too. And what I'm going to try, try to do, you everybody hear the word try there? What I'm going to try to do is the same assignment that I'm giving you, if there's extras, let me know, okay? Um, the same assignment that I'm giving you, in other words, landscape only, make it look more professional, add an image view, I'm going to do it too. And I'll show you what I came up with afterwards. But I will not show it to you until after the one, you know, the due date. And I will put it in there and you can take a look. Any extras? Like I said, I believe that's enough for today. So for the next class, I'm going to pick it up on the print info, the last function. I'm going to pick it up right there because I want, I want you to have time to work on these things. That's what I told her. I'd never seen it before either. Yeah, yeah, the program works. It's just that message. I mean, you can Google it. My guess is that somehow something got turned off in their system configuration file. I don't know how, because she wouldn't do it. Yeah. I, so, I no, you wouldn't do it. As so. far as I know, I set them up so they're all identical. Yeah, that's what I figured. Yeah. So I don't know.